we left off. We were having a discussion about many worlds. Confused again. Maybe it's impossible for me to fully understand the structure of the universe. Yeah? Yeah? Anyway, that's enough discussion. Okay, it's time for me to leap again. Explain the situation to Kurisu and have her activate the time leap machine immediately. Oh, okay. So we're just gonna... We're gonna do this again. God, every time he does that... <laughs> does that thing, it makes me think of the fucking time leap fails. Okay, so it's the night of the 11th. I went back about 40 hours. My objective is to keep watch on the street vendor stand and hope that Suzuha's father might appear. I sent Suzuha elsewhere. I don't want her to be disappointed if I come up empty-handed. I'm standing out of sight a short distance away from the stand, munching on energy bars and soy milk to appease, appease my growling stomach. I've already been here for two hours. I've got to ask for the exact time the suspicious character appeared, so I had to begin my stakeout before sunset. Now it's 8pm and the stand looks like it's about to close. Is this another waste of time? Did that foreigner give me false information? Just as I'm finishing my milk, someone approaches the stand. I jump out of cover. Daru! Oh, fuck! Daru jumps in surprise! But I'm the one who's really shocked here. The storekeeper is looking at us funny, so we decide to change locations. タイタンのピンバッジと同じものを偽造しようとしていたわけじゃないよな。そう、そのまさかでありますあ、you <笑> Damn, it was all for nothing. Good thing I didn't bring Suzuha along. You were trying to make it. No. もしも天主の親父さんが見つかんなかったら可哀想じゃん。だからその時は僕が作ったバッジを見せて親父さんはいたんだって嘘だな。ああ。ぬか喜びさせるという言葉。そういう言い方しなくてもよくね。世の中には
タイムマシンを調べていて、アマネシから聞いたんだけど、あのマシンは、過去にしか飛べないらしいんだ。おう。なに First, I don't understand what he means. Bacana. Orega stayed a titan of Time Machine. Mirai Hoko in Motoveta. A lie? Gisani Mitang? Mita Wakisanago. Somos of Ocarino eat the Taita, the Nisenni Araorte Yatsu Show. Boca Sona Taita, Mitakotomo Kita Kotomo Naike Dona. That's right, the Taita I knew. And Susan aren't necessarily the same person. Although their time machines are similar, there are significant differences. For example, one looks like a Chevy and one looks like a satellite. And you slight differences. Hmm. You serious? Suzuha was a time machine. I couldn't return to 2036. So, from the beginning, I was saying that. それはタイムマシンとしては欠陥品だろそうあのタイムマシンは未完成だって言ってた Let's finish the go forward function then Incomplete! Incomplete! セルンの技術をパクってアマネシの親父さんがこっそり独自に作ったものらしいんだけどオヤジさんがセルンに殺されたせいで未完成のままなんだってそれでも過去には飛べるからちっとも問題ないってアマネシは笑ってたけどさ。But she can't come back. それは確かな話なんだな。本人がそう言ったし、アマネシが嘘をついてない限りはマジだと思うよ。通話で今この時代にタイムマシンの修理が終わるまでに親父さんと会っておかないと。もう二度と会う機会はないかもしれないじゃん。So、that's why he was trying to make a copy of that pin. It's evidence that Suzuha's father was here. やはり偽造はよくない。嘘は嘘だ。And、she'll essentially be going to the past to die. With a lie from father. I wave Daru silent and massage my temples. Need to think. What difference does it make? True, Suzuha might be sad about missing her father, but that's none of my business. My top priority is Mayuri's safety. That's right. I mustn't let my emotions control me. I need to be more rational, more logical. There's a Japanese proverb He who pursues two hairs will catch neither. However, that sad smile on Suzuha's face. Now I understand what it meant. I feel something tighten deep within my chest. Next day is nightfall. I summon all lab mems except Kurisu to Radio Kaikon. Kurisu has to work on the time leap machine, so we won't be seeing much of her until we get through this three day sequence. So, what happens when we, uh, Finish this time machine, send Suzuha back to the past, and then time leap again. Is she still gonna be there, or will she? How is that world line going to reconstruct itself? It's boiling hot in the rooftop, even in the evening. I guess we'll find out, but. When I provide Dora with a refreshing gift of cola, his sweaty face lights up. Ooh, Okari! ここでキンキンに冷えたカロリーゼロのコーラの差し入れとか気が利きすぎだろう。Well, we may have fucked up、uh, the first place, but Dar happily takes the cola and chugs it straight from the bottle. After 
Edwards, Darwin, and Sousa start discussing the time machine. Mayuri and I watch from a short distance away. And unfortunately, we end up having to watch the same conversations. I guess so. Yep. Again, it's not exactly a crash drive. Time machine to become a jelly man and go true. I am too. Although we are definitely not sending you to the past. Although the counterpoint to that is, <laughs> if we send you to 1975, would you die on the 13th of October of October of August 2010? <laughs> That's not the cutest fucking thing you ever heard. You need to get your heart checked. And cheer her up. Hold her hand super tight. And tell her everything is going to be okay. Maybe we should ask her. I feel like that might be significant, the name of the time machine, as to figuring out. Mayuri giggles and runs off to talk to Susa. She returns a few seconds later. Like... The full, na the full name of the machine, not the Mayuri version. I wonder if that would have a clue. <laughs> G204 or something, something she said. Like, there's gotta be a clue in there. I look at Daru and Susan again. Sure. I nod, and Mayuri runs over to the time machine again. Just like before. Behind her, the sun glows dark and orange on the horizon. As Mayuri leaves, Suzuha comes over to stand beside me. Her shadows are long and murky in the fading light. Hmm. Refreshing breeze blows by, and I say nothing. It was quite on a few minutes ago, but the temperature is finally starting to drop. Because you won't get another chance. For a moment's hesitation, I give a little nod.
After that interruption, let's continue. I've heard these words before. Just like last time, her tone was wistful. She knows that if we get this fixed, she's not coming back. The truth I heard from Daru plays in my head in an endless refrain. いや、君たち、みんな揃いも揃って I shake my head. Kind of like you have right now, Okabe. Suzo looks up the, at the time machine. Daru and Mayuri are standing next to it, talking cheerfully about something or another. She smiles, then. A soft, sad smile that tears at my heart. This time I know what that smile means. Susa obviously knew from the beginning that if she traveled to 1975, she could never return. First time I heard her speak these words, I thought she was sentimental because she couldn't return to her original, her original 2036, the one she was born in. I was wrong. Forget about 2036. She can't even return here to 2010, not without living 35 years. She'll be 54 when 2010 comes around. The present us and the present Suzuha can never meet again. Suzuha chose this mission. Change the future. To save Mayuri. Unless Suzuha travels to 1975, Mayuri will die. Then what about Suzuha herself? When she leaves for 1975, she'll have to sacrifice everything she has here. How does she feel about that? Then let's go on the hunt for the IBM 5100. Again. There was obviously one here. Let's 
1975年へ行くのならばこの2010年において俺たちと仲良くならなければよかったと思ったことはないかそうすればお前が捨てるべき生きてきた痕跡は一つで済んだお前は事実上2回自分の存在を殺すことになるもしかして足台たるから聞いたスズフラウンドあいつもお前のことを心配しているたくは誰にも言うなって念を押しといたのに I'm not just anyone. I'm the boss of the lab. お前は1975年へ行くことについてどう思っているどうもこうもないよ。s u s a n s expression suddenly hardens. Yes, it does. You're a friend. I can't get it. それが私が選んだ道だし、父さんの意思でもある。もし、俺は誰だと思ったら。Yeah, we can find a way. ネットチャンネルでも言われた。あたしだけの考えで、何億人にも影響を与えるような過去改変を行うとは何様だってね。でもさ。あんな未来にはなってほしくないから私は君たちみたいに自由で笑い合って時には喧嘩もして争いがあって悲しい時もあるそんな人生を私が生まれた時代の人たちに送ってもらいたいし未来を変えればきっと父さんも椎名真由里も君もセルンに殺されることはなくなるだろうからエゴかもしれないけど私は行く I don't have the right but I'm gonna fucking do it anyway so I can protect the people that I now care about that's a fair reason <laughs> Just like that, Susan has back to her usual self. Despite her cheerful smile, I'm certain that her resolve was forged from fear and doubt the likes of which few could imagine. I was a fool to think that my words could sway her. Beneath the clear blue sky, the, the time machine comes to life. Dara's repairs are complete. Mayuri and I help drain the last of the water out of the cockpit. The machine is still stuck in Radio Kaikon's wall, but th th that's a small matter. Dara gazes at the time machine with a satisfied expression. Mayuri is jumping for joy, and Kurisu ran over as soon as she completed the time leap machine. He's visibly relieved. Meanwhile, Suzha is struggling to attach her mountain bike to the time machine's exterior. She likes it so much she wants to bring it with her to 1975. Oh boy. Kurisu was worried that it might cause a time paradox. My heart is still heavy. Should I let Suzha leave like this? I don't think we can sway her. I chide myself for the thought. It's her. It's not my choice to make, it's her choice to make. Susa isn't from this time. If she doesn't want to stay, then I have no reason to keep her from leaving. Susa finishes securing her bicycle and turns to us with a soft smile. It's not the painful, forced smile I saw yesterday. We don't perform a startup test. Activating the time machine would call it draw too much attention. So we're just going to wing it. Fortunately, we have the time leap machine for insurance. My only regret is that we couldn't find her father. I'm 
れなら僕とチュッチュしてください。ダルノ。変態は自重しろ。That means pat Suzu on the shoulder and offer words of encouragement, each in his or her own way. Oh, the pin. Suzu offers me her father's pin. In the end, we couldn't decipher the inscription. We won't forget you. Is she regretting her decision to leave? This pin meant to be proof that Amane Suzuha was here with us in this time. Did you, did you get the replica? Daru hesitates for a moment, then steps forward. ラボメンみんなの分を作ったらどうかなラボメンの証しつうかああそれすっごくいいかもだよああ珍しく気が利くじゃない<笑>なんかそういう伝え方してもらえると私としては照れちゃうな Who would explain how? つうわけなんで画像はもう取ったし、そのバッジは天主が持ってってよ。親父。They stay silent. There's nothing I can say. I could stop Suzu from leaving if I tried. Unless she goes, I can't save my own. Suddenly raises her hands and calls for attention. As usual, she completely fails to sense the gravity of the situation. Though I suppose it's our fault for not telling her the truth about Susa's time machine. In any case, she has my attention. What could her announcement be? Could Mayuri have found out that she's fated to die? Would she be this bubbly and happy if she did? I quickly glance at Kurisu, but she seems just as confused as I am. Then what is it? What? Huh? Maji. Mayuri puffs out her chest proudly. Where? Everyone, including me, starts looking around. Mayuri has has us hook, line, and sinker. I scanned the empty event hall, but there's no one else here. That's because he's one of us. Where could he be? Mayuri flashes Suzu a grin. No. She thrusts her finger at Daru. The thing I'm most interested about here is her mouth drop. How she, how she, came to this conclusion. After awkward silence comes awkward laughter. That logic is not a joke. It's not even 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 a joke. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's a bit harsh. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's a, that's a bit harsh. Yeah. Christina no Yigusa ni zenmen teki ni doi suru. Daru wa 30 sai wo koete maho tsukai ni class change suru no ga kakutei da. Wizard? Omai ra sukoshi wa jichou shiro! Demo jijitsu da kara hanron deki nai. Oh, oh, oh. Daru falls to his hands and knees, devastated. For Suzu herself, she clearly, clearly doesn't know how to react. Can you please explain, Mayuri? Uh, 
私の父さんそんなに太ってなかったよ It might be good to explain. I mean, you're not wrong, Mayuri, but. Oh. And back down to his knees. There we go. Harsh. Explain. Poor Favor. I remember that now. I didn't even think about it, but... I mean... They, they said it was a 7, and they showed us that picture, and I had no fucking clue that that was a 7. That does make sense that it's a 2. Susa stares at the inscription on the pin again. We blew it up real big. Exactly. Okay. What about the three stars? It was right in front of us all along. Just didn't know where to look. Mayuri is a good girl. The year of the lab mems. The year of the lab mems? Mayuri spotted the obvious foreshadow. Taro's observation startles me. It's an obvious thing to wonder about, but it strikes too close to home. That's because she's about to die, Dara. And yet, Mayuri's logic is airtight. No, the reason there aren't any stories about Mayuri is because she dies in a few hours. Only Kurisu, Suza, and I know that, and we say nothing. phone wave to begin with, and Sousa's time machine resembles the phone wave, which is also... <laughs> oh god, I love you, Mayuri. I love you, Mayuri. <laughs> yes, and Sousa knew about it. 
God, my goodness, you are fantastic. Ah, she even remembers this! She even remembers this! This is the... Mmm, we know that because we tailed her. <laughs><笑><笑> I don't remember that. It must have happened because of the D-mail I sent. That is the curse of reading Steiner. Although I keep my memories from previous world lines, I don't require I don't, I don't acquire memories of events on new world lines. Yep. Still, the evidence keeps piling up. <laughs> I knew it. Future gadget. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so, Susan says time machine is future gadget number 204? Named as a future gadget, no doubt, to honor the late Okabe Vintar. ヒロ。タルって意味なんだよね。クリスちゃん。クリスのアンツ。タル。タル。だ。だじゃれ。It's <laughs> Super reels. God, I love you, Mayuri. You are fantastic. You are freaking fantastic. I can't believe it. But with all this evidence laid out in front of me, I can't deny it either. Everyone's jaw drops again. Only this time we're staring at Daru and Suzuha. That is true. We know what the placebo effect is. You are a great detective. I mean, realistically, we have Mayuri around to notice all the things that were too darn serious to notice. She's such a ditz most of the time, but maybe she's more perceptive than anyone knows. She really is. Uh, and I just asked her to make out with me. Oh, God, what did I do? 
Daru wide-eyed points at Susa while flapping his lips like a fish out of water. So, 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 you took your papa to your be side. <laughs> Susa tries to hold back her tears, but can't. They fall from her eyes and roll down her cheeks. Seeing this, Daru stops his joking and lets Susa speak. We will. Susa walks up to Daru and hugs him gently. Daru awkwardly but firmly hugs her back. Father and daughter, reunited across time. I'm truly glad we could bring them together. <laughs> God, Daru. Good. When Suza finally steps away from Daru, she's smiling once again. What am I doing? Susa has mind is set. I know nothing that, that nothing I say can, can nothing I can say will convince her to stay. The man is to even try. If she stays, Mayori dies. I know that. So why am I trying to stop her? She looks at us with the face of a warrior. Nobody speaks. Nobody nods. We don't have the words. But she sees it in our faces. Resolve. Suzuha has entrusted us with her will and her mission. We beat her gaze, each of us, and silently swear to protect them till the end. The future Suzuha came from is not the future we desire. In Suzuha's time, Daru and I fought to change it. This time we'll make sure it never happens. Mayuri will live. Kurisu will be free. Suzuha will grow up knowing her father. We must change the future, that all of these things may come to pass. I feel like we should have tell her to come on the 11th instead of the 13th. So we do this, we time leap, we get an IBN 5100, then we have two days. Oh, put your phone away, Okabe. This is emotional. With that final warning, Susa aborts the time machine. She waves once, and then the machine, the hatch closes behind her. Moments later, the machine comes to life. A shrill alarm starts ringing. 
There are no other sounds. It makes less noise than I'd expect. People on the street below start shouting and cheering at the satellite's sudden activity. They all look up and point. My phone vibrates. I quickly take it out and open. The mail is from Sousa. Thanks. Goodbye. When I failed to stop her in her previous world line, she sent me the exact same message before leaving. This time, the word holds a completely different meaning. I lift my eyes from the message to see the space around the time machine begin to warp. A cocoon of light appears and envelops the fuselage. I squint my eyes against the brilliance. We will never see her again. Not this Suzuha. Yes, we can seek her out in our time. I know that. I know that I will make the effort. But the next time we meet, an immense gulf of time will have divided us. No matter how hard we wish it were different, she will not be the girl we knew. All of a sudden, Dara takes a step into the light. His words probably can't reach her anymore. As the light grows more intense, I raise my hand to shield my eyes. Bathed in radiant particles, the cocoon slowly, slowly unfurls. Next thing I know, Suzuha's time machine has vanished into thin air, leaving a hole the size of a dump truck in Radio Kaikon's wall. Whoops. The air is thick with the smell of ozone. And seems to pulse softly where the machine stood. We stand there for a while, staring silently at the empty spot while the summer breeze blows gently past, as if the wind were fate itself. Unfortunately, we don't have time to mourn her departure. All we can do is hope that her mission was successful. After all this,